Hey you guys, Finlox here, back with our blind playthrough of Castle in the Darkness. With me today is Jack, he's here, he's rubbing his face against the monitor and stuff, so uh, hopefully there won't be interruptions, but uh, probably will be. Now, yeah, I was last episode was going to be the last episode that I did for today, but I decided to do another because I was just thinking about it, like right after I broke and was getting a drink and stuff and I'm like let's let's try again let's try again you know I feel like we made decent progress so and I feel like with the uh man that's strong it's not even I don't know if it's good um with the yeah I went from whatever to 43% with the new spell, um, yeah, I feel like there's hope, almost. The new spell and the extra health. But that beer I'm drinking, the juice, what is it? Juice Force IPA, the Voodoo Ranger. It is strong. It's like 9.5%, and it's just, it's too strong. It doesn't... Normally I like the the hazy IPAs because they taste they taste almost like juice, but this is the alcohol is way too strong. So it's like which I never thought I'd say, but it's yeah. Alright, let's try again. And by the way, if you're a fan of this game and you haven't played um, Unworthy, recommend Unworthy. This is more of a Kaizo game, not a Metroidvania, but Unworthy is more of a... Uh, it does have some pattern recognition as well, but it's a bit more like a 2D Dark Souls. It's really interesting. Uh, you know, and, and if you... Like, I'm not that great at video games, and I was... There were some bosses that I was just, like, almost doing hitless runs on. It's, But it is really hard. If you get hit, it's like you suffer. You know? Alright, let's... Okay, so you're going there. Well, that was, that was okay. Oh, uh, well, okay, that didn't, uh, didn't work as planned. Crap. Okay, that, that was good, but not that was good but not great uh, okay well hey that worked ah uh, crap dude Very nice. Okay, well that... Come on, man. This is probably the longest I've ever lasted, but, uh, well. Now, what are the odds he's gonna do some 
messed up crap. Hmm. Now that he's like below 50%. Hey, Jack. Yep, okay. That actually makes me a little bit happier. I don't, I don't like that he... I'm not happy he left in a general sense, but it definitely does help because it's like, it's more comfortable for me and it's less, I have to worry about it, you know? You know what I mean? That was, that was a pretty good go. I think we can definitely, obviously we can improve upon that, but... <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, because this is more about dodging and using the, ref the, the magic to reflect, and specifically if it hits and leaves that little charge behind, that's what does the damage. If we could leave those wherever he's at, that's the, that's the key. This actually works pretty well for the corners. It's not perfect, but... Oh, well, okay. Ah, man. Well, that, that was good, though. Ah! So this is probably... Man, we'll have to see. Is this gonna be the final... Ow. Oh. Is there another form after this? That's the question. Oh, no! No, you dick! Well... That was a good... It was a good try. Man, when he catches you, like, it's it's almost strange. The big challenge is him moving around, you know? Or it could be the, woo. Or her, you know, it could be the, uh, the daughter, the princess. Right, you never see them in the same room together. Ugh, oh, man. Just tired. Ready for, uh... Yeah, this spell makes a huge freaking difference. Ah, oh, man.
Hmm, well. Ah. See, I should have been more, or rather, less aggressive there, I suppose. Man, and the ghosts are still going when he's shooting the lightning, which is, you know, I mean, that's understandable. Kind of a dick move, though. Did I just get hit? Oh my god, I just got hit twice. What the shit? Oh, that's... Oh. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just like I'm so resigned. I'm just like, okay. I'm not really. I'm just like, like, why you gotta be like that, bro? Oh my god, I'm dead. Wait, do they not crumble? I bet they do, it just takes a second. Probably. Man, I'm all hot. I just want to beat it before I get too much drunker, you know? <sighs> yeah, that's... Alright, magic. I'm glad if they made you do this with a sword, that would be... You know. That's fair. Oh, you freaking jerk. Have to fly around. But I will say this is probably more forgiving than, like, you know, maybe the Ninja Gaiden games, the original, like, Nintendo ones. Those were freaking monstrous. Those were basically like you had to restart the whole game if you screwed up because... Where are you going? Oh, you.
Okay. So there's the girl. So they aren't the same person. So what's the deal? Did we win? This castle is falling apart. Wait. Hurry! Oh god. Okay. Oh, the owl. Was it the one I fought earlier? Princess Isabel and the hero escaped the castle just before its collapse. The king was never found and never heard from again. Ah, Castlevania. Yep. Oh, she's like, oh, you, my hero. But what happened if we didn't beat the owl? You know what I mean? You threw your helmet away? Oh, they're gonna kiss. But if you don't beat the owl, what happens? You, everyone just dies right there? Nicholas presents. Castle in the darkness. Okay, so I will say... Code, Matt Cap. Art, Matt Cap. Oh! Character design, Matt Cap. Yeah, Matt Cap did most of the things. And a heart. But we had a helmet. And he gives his heart to. Oh, there they go. They're making out. And then we start kissing like this. <laughs> um. Both Babas. Mega Pie Man. I. You know, I, I didn't notice an achievement. Congratulations, you completed with 43%. I'll take it. The fact we completed it all. There we go, achievement unlocked level one adventure. Press a key to return to the menu. Um, I, I will in a sec, but first I wanna... <sighs> that was a hard one, that was really hard. Um. Here's, here's the big problem, is it's not really a metroidvania. There are some things like that, but it's mostly a Kaizo game, or maybe it's not even that because it doesn't have invisible blocks and stuff, but... Um, I don't know. If you like really, really hard old school uh, games. And I will say that one spell and that extra health made all the difference. And I appreciate the fact that it was basically back at the beginning. You know? I didn't have to go through and find, like, the whatever harder things. You know? The game is doable like that. Now, maybe there's a second form. There's probably multiple endings. Um, I know there's a new game plus, so I I don't know. I I would say I probably don't recommend it unless you're really into either like Kaizo games or um, old school. Nintendo hard style platformers because that's that's really what it is it's more of a platformer than anything else it has some metroidvania stuff in it. it it's like it's like when they say it's a shooter with RPG elements you know like a Call of Duty with a leveling system it's like that's not RPG elements right it's that, that's what this is. This is a, a hard platformer with with Metroidvania elements. Um, I 
I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I, like I said, I wouldn't recommend it in general, but but if you really like hard platformers, then sure. Um, it's, uh... It's... It does kind of bother me that... I mean, maybe that spell cheesed the game. You know, if you have to do it with the sword, then that boss fight is incredibly freaking painful. You know, if you have to hit him 800 times or something like that, like, there's no, there's no freaking way. Um... Yeah, seriously, without that spell, I don't know if I would have done... I don't know if I would have done it. Um, yeah. But anyway, guys, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, I don't know what game I'm playing next, to be honest. I never, uh, I didn't get that far. Um, but thanks for coming on this journey with me. Did we unlock anything? Ending number one. Sure. That's what we got. And okay, total time 726, but 226. That doesn't make sense. Where did the extra five hours go? You know? Doesn't doesn't make any sense. Um Ooh, excuse me. But yeah, that's it. That's it. Thank you guys. Um as always, guys, questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent, let me hear them. I do read all of them, or at least I try to. I don't know how feasible that is now. Also, the secrets book is the that one magic we found. Maybe that's all magic. I don't know. Uh, yeah, and I try and respond to everybody as well. What is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's the fact that we finally beat the game. Um, I am not... I, I did have fun a lot of the time. But at the same time, it felt like it did kind of feel like a chore. You know, it, it did. Man, I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to go back to those old Nintendo games, like the original Ninja Gaiden series, uh, because those are... This is a lot more forgiving than those are, if if I'm being honest. Um, yeah. Because, like, the original Ninja Gaiden, like, holy crap. Um, and I think the first one was probably easier than the second and the third, you know? So, but I'm just glad, I'm just glad we're done. Glad we're done with it. It, it wasn't, I had fun, but at the same time, I'm, it, it was stressful a lot of the time, and I'm glad it's over. So, and and that end boss really does bother me because I I almost feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, I almost feel like the game might have been stronger if there weren't any RPG elements. You know, if it was just like you have your life bar, you get hit three times. Here's the bosses and stuff. You know what I mean? Because there's no reason to use or or uh like the magic where it does different stuff not necessarily oh this this sword is stronger it does more damage or this armor prevents you from taking more damage like that doesn't you know cuz at least at least then you could be like oh i i feel proud i i beat it rather than you know, I I don't know if my math was any was correct as far as the you know amount of times you'd have to hit the final boss with that sword, the bro sword, but like if it was really eight hundred times, that's no, no. You know, I I'd rather get rid of all that leveling stuff and just make it so that um. 
I mean, but then again, the original Nintendo games did a lot of that stuff too. With Castlevania, you had like the, the stronger whips. Ninja Gaiden, you had the powers. I don't know. Maybe it would be too boring to just be just one sword. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, guys, um, that's my unique puzzle moment, beating this game. Thanks for coming on this journey with me, and I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.